This is just a quick video to show you the internal components of your TapRite nitrogen regulator. Before opening up any regulator, make sure it's disconnected and not attached to any gas cylinder. Then remove the bonnet by using a large wrench to gently loosen, then you can unscrew by hand. Inside the regulator, you'll notice four main parts. Sitting on top of the spring is the spring retainer. Then below the main spring, followed by the gasket bonnet, which is the clear ring that you see around the outer diaphragm. And lastly, the main diaphragm. To reassemble your regulator, take your main diaphragm. On the back side of it, you will notice a groove cut in the nut. This groove will need to align with the ball that is in the center of the regulator body. Begin by sliding it down from the top until you find the groove and center it on the regulator body. Then set the gasket bonnet on top of the diaphragm, followed by the main body spring and the spring retainer on top. Make sure all of these components are aligned well with the regulator body, then set the bonnet assembly back on top and secure by hand, and then tighten gently with a wrench.